everybody, I'm Larry Trexer with Sim Products and I'm sure we've all faced this in scenario where we're taking a decal off of a vehicle and then obviously it leaves over a bunch of the, the adhesive residue. So we're gonna talk today about Sim's specialty adhesive removers. So when we talk about adhesive removers, obviously they're designed to do one main thing and that is to remove adhesive residue but they also remove a lot of different types of surface contaminants. Things like tar, sap, grease, oil, and even silicone. And they're generally safe to use on OEM surfaces. And I say generally safe because just like any solvent that you're gonna be spraying onto a paint job, you always wanna make sure that you test in an inconspicuous area, just in case that vehicle's been repainted before. You just wanna make sure that it's gonna be safe to use. With that, we have two different versions. We have our Triple X Specialty Adhesive Remover, which is our standard formula. And this is an improved formula. What we improved about it is that this is now 50 state compliant. And as you can see here, it comes in quartz and it comes in aerosols. So you can sell this anywhere in the country. And then we have the one that is a new product for us, which is our gel adhesive remover. And this is the one I'm really excited about because if you've ever used adhesive removers in the past, you know that on vertical surfaces like the sides of front fenders, for instance, you spray that adhesive remover on and it usually just runs down the panel. This gel adhesive remover stays where you spray it. So we're really excited about it and even more excited to the fact that both of these products are 50 state compliant. So to give you a quick demonstration of the specialty gel adhesive remover, obviously like any other aerosol can, when you get the can for the first time, make sure and shake it up well, which I've already done, and then make sure and apply the product. Now you wanna to try to minimize trying to get it anywhere that it's not supposed to be, but you just wanna gently come in and spray down enough product that you can let it sit here for several minutes and then come back and wipe it clean. If it doesn't get it all off, reapply it for a second time, and then wipe it again. Easy to do. So as you can see here, the product's been sitting for several minutes. Now we're gonna come in and wipe it off. And a couple of things, when you're working with adhesive removers, the one thing that you don't wanna have happen is to let it dry on the surface. So you wanna make sure that you keep it wet, uh, or like I so said, don't walk away from it for 30 minutes and you'll be okay. So we'll just wipe it off now and we'll see if we have it, had it on there long enough. And as you can see, it wiped it clean. It's a great product. Hopefully you, uh, you can use it uh, to be able to, especially in areas where we have uh, vertical surfaces and we're worried about the adhesive removers running down the surface. It stays right where you put it. Regardless of whether you like using a standard adhesive remover or the new gel adhesive remover, both of these products are going to give you a good option for a 50 state compliant adhesive remover. 